Hello everyone, this is Armin Dessuri from Toronto Drivers and in this video I'm going to show you how to change lanes safely and smoothly. I know lane changing is one of the biggest fears of new drivers and if you are a new driver then you must watch this video carefully and all the way through the end. The first thing you do during a lane change is that you signal your intentions. This is very important. The cars around you read your mind only through your signal. So make sure you communicate it to them what you intend to do. Now, a lot of people would argue that we must first check our mirrors to see if it is clear before we signal. Well, you could do that, but know that you will have to check your mirrors again after you signal because other vehicles know about your intentions only after you signal and that is how they decide whether they want to let you in front of them or they want to pass you. So signaling first has always helped my students. After the signal, you want to do a 1-2-3 check and get 3 yeses. By 1-2-3, I mean you want to check your rear view mirror, side view mirror and your blind spot. So what are you checking in the rear view mirror? In this mirror, you want to see what the car behind you is doing. You want to know if they have their signal on to go into the same lane that you want to go in. And if you see their signal on, then cancel your signal and let them switch the lanes before you do. And try again after they have passed you. And if they do not have the signal on, then move to step number two, which is checking the side view mirror. Now, this is the trickiest part of lane changing. People usually have a difficulty judging how far the car is and how fast it is coming, especially if you are a new driver. While this judgment comes with experience, what you can do as a beginner is to make sure you're maintaining the speed limit of the road. You do not want to go lower than the recommended speed. Once you attain that speed, look in the side view mirror and see where you see the car. If you see the full car, that is, with both the headlights around here in the mirror, then you know that you have enough room to switch and it might be safe. I say might be safe because it also depends on how fast the car is coming. So there's always two factors to consider during lane changing, the speed of the car and the distance of the car. So you also want to gauge the speed of the car. Well, if it seems to be coming very fast, then let it pass you. And if it seems to be coming at the recommended speed or slightly over, then you can try to switch lanes. Now remember, whatever I've told you about the side view mirror up to now applies only when the speed of the traffic is 50 km per hour or over that speed. However, when the traffic is going slower than that, you could switch lanes even when the car is close to you. Watch this. So mostly, when other cars see your signal, they slow down to let you in. So you can use that opportunity to switch lanes. Now you've checked your rear view mirror and the side view mirror and you've got two yeses. So the final yes you want to get is by checking the blind spot. So just take half a second to check your blind spot. And if there's no car there as well, then know that it is safe for you to change the lane. If you haven't yet watched my blind spot video, then make sure you watch it and know how to check the blind spot. You must keep in mind that the 123 check does not take 3 minutes. Rather, it should be done in 3 seconds or less. Watch this. So you don't want to go And you will be able to do this in this short time frame only if you have been checking your surroundings every now and then. This is why they emphasize on the road test that you must move your head every 5 to 8 seconds. When you do this, you know what is happening around you and that helps you make very quick decisions on the road. Have you seen those cars that zip past you and switch lanes fast cutting everyone off? They are able to do that because they are completely aware of their surroundings. Now, that doesn't mean that you're going to try this out on the road. It was just an example of a good, bad driver. Good because they can switch lanes fast. Bad because they end up crashing one day, so they don't set a great example. So please do not get influenced by such people. So that's that about checking the mirrors while changing lanes. Now let me show you how to steer properly and how to adjust your speed. 
A lot of people think that they need to steer this much when switching lanes. This is a misconception. You just need to steer slightly when switching, very gently. Watch this. I didn't have to turn the wheel too much. Another great benefit of this is that it helps you a lot during correction. Now let's say you're switching lanes and suddenly you see a car in your blind spot. This could happen due to a wrong estimate. You might think that the other car is going to let you in, but they don't want to. Or you may miss a car coming too fast in the lane you want to go in. In that situation, you quickly want to go back into the lane you are in. Now imagine, if you turn the wheel like this and you want to go back into your lane, you will have to do this. And in doing so, you can run a risk of collision because you need more time and space to do so. However, if you do this, then you're not going too far into the other lane and that is why correcting yourself is way easier and it reduces the risk by 95%. You could save yourself from a lot of collisions by following this method. One mistake a lot of people make during lane changes is that they steer the wheel when checking the blind spot. And that can prove fatal because if there is a car already in your blind spot, then you're most likely to drive into it because that car will not get enough time to react. I don't know about you, but I used to turn the wheel a lot during lane changes. It took me a good amount of practice to stop steering while checking the blind spot. In order not to steer the wheel, try this at home. I used to hold a plate assuming it is a wheel and turn around like this without twisting my hands. So you just have to push your shoulder forward and turn your head keeping your hands firm on the wheel. Practicing this way has helped me a lot and I hope it will help you as well. So first you want to check the blind spot then look forward and steer slightly while you're looking forward so that you have a full control on your car. So that was about steering the wheel. Now let's see what we should do in different speed situations. One thing you want to understand about speed is that you want to match it with the speed of the traffic so that you can merge smoothly into the traffic. Therefore, when changing lanes, depending on the situation, you'll need to do three things. Maintain the speed, increase the speed, or decrease the speed. So when do you need to maintain the speed? I would say most of the times. This is the most ideal and safe way of changing lanes. When you know that the car in the side view mirror is far, there is no car in the blind spot, and there is no car in front of you, then it is best to keep your speed constant and switch lanes. Just keep a light foot on the gas pedal and switch lanes. Now, when do you increase the speed? Most of the times you increase the speed when you're going from the right lane into the left lane. Left lanes are fast moving lanes and in order to match the speed of the traffic, you would need to go a little faster. Now I know I had mentioned in one of the videos that you should not increase your speed on the road test because you can fail. But after that video, on many instances, my students were told by the examiner that they should have gone a little faster to match the speed of the traffic. Therefore, it is okay to do so. However, Remember not to stay at the increased speed for a long time. If you stay at the increased speed for longer than three to four seconds, then they can fail you. So as soon as you merge into the lane, come back to the normal speed. And if you feel that by going at the recommended speed in the far left lane, you're impeding the traffic, then move back into the right lane and allow others to pass. A caution you want to take when increasing the speed is that you want to make sure that there's no car in front of you because if there is a car and it suddenly breaks, then you're likely to run into that car. So do it very carefully. Now comes decreasing the speed. You need to do this when there is a car in front of you or right beside you that is going slow consistently. In this situation, it is not recommended to speed up and go in front of the car to switch lanes because that is not safe. Therefore, you must slow down and let the car pass you so that you can get some space to switch lanes. One thing you must always remember is that you should give yourself a distance of at least two car length before you switch behind a car. This is again for the reason that if the car in front of you suddenly breaks, then you should have enough time to react. So let's see how to change lanes quickly and the things you shouldn't do when you're changing lanes. 
Remember, in part one of the video, I talked about people who are able to change lanes quickly on high-speed roads, just like this guy. So how do they change lanes quickly? They do that because they are aware of their surroundings. Here's what they do. The most important step in lane changing is checking your rear view mirror because in the rear view mirror you can see the vehicles right behind you and in the adjacent lanes. Let's pretend that we want to go to the right lane. In this situation I'm able to see how many cars are behind me on the right hand side. Now I see that there's no car after this car so it would be safe for me to switch lanes after this car. Now from the speed of these cars you're probably able to tell that it won't be safe to cut off any of these cars. So it is better to wait until these cars go by. Another thing you also want to know is what the cars just behind you are trying to do. With their signal you will know their intentions. If they don't have any signal so then you safely assume that they are not trying to switch lanes. So the rear view mirror gives you 80% of the clarity and the remaining 20% you get from the side view mirror and the blind spot check. Look at this. I see that it's clear now and in 2 to 3 seconds this black car is going to pass me. Here it is. Now that everything behind me looks very clear, I will quickly glance at the side view mirror just to make sure that there's no car beside me. Then I'll do a quick blind spot check and change lanes safely. So this is how experienced drivers make quick decisions while changing lanes. So you can apply this trick and improve the way you change lanes. Now before I move on to point number two, let me show you how people change lanes in a busy traffic situation. When it is busy, the traffic is usually moving slow. Therefore, when you put the signal on, in most cases, the first or the second car behind you will let you in. This is called cooperative driving. The key point here is to keep your signal on because if people don't see your signal, they don't know what your intentions are and that is why they're not going to let you in. Now let me tell you what you shouldn't do during lane changes. Do not drive too close to a car. This will make it difficult for you to switch lanes quickly and you will either have to reverse or wait for the car in front of you to move forward. Always have at least one car length distance in a slow moving traffic and two to three car length distance in a fast moving traffic situation so that you're able to switch lanes quickly. Point number two, do not signal only for half a second just like this guy. A lot of people signal only for half a second and switch lanes. You can fail the road test for doing this. And moreover, what if the person behind you doesn't see your signal? They will never know what your intentions are and chances are that it could lead to a collision. So it's always good to leave the signal on until you're half into the other lane and then cancel the signal. Point number three, do not ever change lanes on curves. Let me show you what happens when you switch lanes on curves, especially during winters. So that's all about lane changing. If you like this video, then hit the like button. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next Friday. Ciao.